This video is sponsored by Native. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today I am making over my laundry closet. This has been a project that's been on my list for so long. The laundry closet is not cute right now. So I'm so excited that this is finally happening. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. This is what my laundry closet looks like right now. I'm so... <laughs> embarrassed. We got new washer and dryers. We love that, but they are too big to fit in the closet. There were doors here before, which enclosed this whole thing. You didn't even notice there was a washer dryer unit here, but since these are bigger, the doors don't fit anymore. So I need to find another solution. Obviously this laundry closet is functioning in the sense that I can wash and dry my clothes, but there is very little storage. There's these covers for my furniture, outdoor furniture that I'm not using that are just up there and look so bad and <laughs> just not making this space as functional as it could be. Besides it just not looking cute, there's also a lot of wasted space happening here. There's tons of opportunity for storage above the dryer and on the side of the units. I am thinking of implementing lots of shelving. A shelf at the top that will allow me to store overflow supplies. And then on the side, I want this to be a cute display of all the things I use when I'm doing laundry. Laundry detergents, dryer balls. I have these essential oils that I use in my dryer. Just all of those things that I grab and use whenever I'm washing my clothes. A door won't work anymore to cover this laundry closet. Like I mentioned, the washer dryers stick out too far. So the only real option I'm thinking is a curtain. I want this to be a functional curtain. So I'm going to get a curved, curtain rod that'll allow me to push the curtains all the way to one side when I'm actually doing laundry. Now that I have my plan, it is finally time to get this project underway. This is a one day or a one day project. We have eight hours. Let's do it. So now that I'm checking off a pretty big to do item on my list, make over my laundry closet. I'm also checking off another to do item, which is ordering more deodorant. You guys know I love using native deodorant and it is 100% plastic free. Not only am I obsessed with all the scents and place an order basically every season, I also love that it provides 72 hours of odor protection. Native deodorant isn't sticky, it feels dry when you're applying it, and it is aluminum free, paraben free, vegan, and cruelty free. I am really excited to try the lilac and white tea scent. It's bright, it's fresh, but it's also really warm. Of course, I had to order Noah's favorite. This is citrus and herbal musk. This is great for anyone who loves a really like woodsy, very, very warm scent. This one is great for fall. And then one of my personal faves, aloe and green tea. This is the one I'm using currently, so I had to order it again. It's just so fresh and clean and like bright. It smells like a burst of sunshine, to be quite honest, which is really what I wanna smell like at all times. <laughs> Save 33% on your first native plastic-free deodorant starter pack. Normally $39, you'll get it for $27. Click the link in my description box below and use code GATOR11. Let's get back to the laundry closet. Hey guys, I'm so, so excited uh, for this project because it's something I've had on my to-do list for a very long time and I'm finally making it happen today. I hope this gives you inspo for your own apartment if you have a washer dryer closet that you don't know what to do with. Obviously, I'm gonna make it look really cute and pretty at the same time. Let's do it. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's also ready. She's also ready. The first thing I'm gonna do is clean everything out of this closet. This is actually, you know what I was thinking this morning? Sorry, Amanda's here. Um, I was thinking about how I really love my house to look a certain way. The covers are like splayed out. Like it's kind it's of- not it, for you. It's kind of weird, right? And they've been there for like a year. Maybe because you're just like, I don't know what to do here. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to take those down, find a better spot for them. I'm just gonna clear everything out. I'm also gonna give it a good vacuum, get like all the lint out of the nooks and crannies and and then we're gonna start the makeover. Oh, there's so many up here. Are these the um, covers you didn't put on this winter? Correct. <laughs> Empty bottle. I wanna shout out these shelves from Ikea. They're stackable, they like click into each other. I'm replacing these with something a little more aesthetic, just because I can. But 
They're very, very handy for tight spaces, like in a bathroom or a laundry room. So, great product. My lint basket. Ew, that's really <laughs> lint? Ew, can you just compile the lint? Yeah, do you throw it out right away? Yeah. What? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys throw out your lint right away? Or do you put it in a basket and then toss it? Why are you seeming like yours is more normal? I think mine's way more normal. Throw, actually, that is not a... normal. <laughs> Like after each dryer yeah. cycle, you take up a lint, lint and then and you put it in a basket. And then once it's full, I toss it. Is it because it, you're not in close proximity to the garbage? Correct. Okay. I thought this was normal. So let me know. What does Ward do, Graham? Every time he empties it, he puts it in the garbage. Yeah, I, I think that you are on a, in a world of your own. I have laundry not in my unit. Yeah. So I have to go to the first floor. Yeah. And like, there's a garbage can, so like I just start out, but I've seen both. So in this case, would it make more sense to have a garbage bin? Because to me, there's not really a difference between like a basket or a garbage can. Right. Right. Graham has two now. Yeah, hi. This is so heavy whenever I try to pour it into the machine, so I have a solution for this later on in the vid. Boo. She has food all over her face. What should we do first? Should we do the shelf first? We can do anything. That I want. Are we taking this bracket down? Yeah, this old shelf. So let's take that down first and then let's do the little shelves. Let's do it. Because Graham and I are perfectionists and can't just like <laughs> let things be. We're actually gonna paint out the whole closet white. There's like different hues of white in here and it just looks kind of messy. So we're gonna take the dryer down, take the old brackets off and just give it a fresh coat of white. I think it's gonna look really good. Okay, fun. Now Graham and I are patching all the holes. There was brackets from old shelves in here. So we're keeping the door hardware up just in case Bri Tai ever want to put the door back on if they get a smaller wash and dryer in here. But there's this extra piece of wood. I think they used it so the doors would like sit closed. Yeah. They can always add this in after, but we're gonna take it down just to make it look cleaner. You look very strong. <gasps> we'll blow it and we'll paint over it. No, no, no. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> Looks wow, much better. that makes such a difference. It looks like bigger. I didn't think we needed to paint, but it is amazing when you actually like look at a closet or a wall, you realize like how many nicks there are, how many like scrapes and scratches. So we are going to give it a fresh coat of white paint. I need to take my own advice and paint it out all white for a fresh feel. Two thumbs up. I'm so glad we painted. It looks so good. It's also the color of the trim. It looks clean and bright. Thoughts, Amanda? Looks great. <laughs> you know what? It's gonna look so fresh. You, we chose a fresh white paint. Yeah, that's what a laundry room should look like. Yeah. Clean. Clean. Right? Because you clean your clothes all the time, right? I do. Like, if I need to do laundry in a pinch, then I'll do it in the shower as I'm showering. No. I'll just go like this way. No, you don't. I've got one good pair of running shorts. So okay. Like running shorts on the floor. Yeah, in the shower. <laughs> Do you use soap or? Yeah, our spring. <laughs> so there was a hardwired light here that was unusable because the washer and dryer press right up against it. So you can't even screw a bulb in. So we are taking that down. We're capping it off so it's safe and it's just gonna look so much better and like finished. Before it was just like there was a random light hanging out. We're making it neat and tidy. Now we're bringing the dryer back and hooking it back up. Love it's time to take off the painter's tape. So satisfying. I'm so glad we decided to paint this closet white. It looks so fresh. We are gonna hang some shelves. Wait till you guys see these shelves in all their glory. They're so cute. Are you good? Yeah. Here is how Graham made the shelves. 
For the four smaller shelves, Graham used scrap three quarter inch melamine chipboard. He cut down the melamine boards the same depth as the closet. So they're going to reach all the way to the back wall of the closet and to a width of 10 inches so that they will fit snug between the wall and the washer and dryer. He primed the edges just to seal them in case water spilled from the washing machine. So Graham had already built the shelves. It was like two days before we were actually supposed to make over this closet. And I sent him this photo of these beautiful wavy shelves that I saw in someone's kitchen. He said, do you want me to wave the shelves for your laundry room? And I was like, yes, this is such a good idea. I'm so excited for scallop shelves in this laundry closet. To create this wavy front, Graham used scrap one eighth inch of hardboard. Using the factory edge of the hardboard for reference, he hand drew and redrew the waves until they looked nice and uniform. He's cutting them out with a jigsaw and sanding them down with a spindle sander. To create the wave, Graham glued four pieces of hardboard together and cut them out in one pass so they were all identical. He wanted to make sure the waves were uniform shelf to shelf, which is why he did it this way. Dave primed and painted the shelves with Simply White by Benjamin Moore. He's using a water-based enamel paint for extra durability. Graham is now gluing the hardboard waves onto the shelf fronts using construction adhesive brad nails and is caulking the seams. Graham also built a larger shelf that mimics these smaller shelves so it all looks the same. And this shelf is gonna go above the dryer for tons of extra storage. I'm gonna reveal a kind of a finishing touch, but I have this really cute pink garbage can for the oh. lint. This garbage can settles basket versus garbage debate. For some reason, Amanda thinks it is less weird. <laughs> You're right, it is the same thing. I hear you. Graham instead trying to pile on stuff so we don't have to reveal. Yeah, you know, don't reveal it, don't reveal it. It's a special moment. We are putting up all four shelves on the side of the laundry closet using brackets. These are so cute, Graham. What? The shelves are oh. adorable. I think people are gonna be like, why did you put the squiggle the other way? Cause this way looks cute. We want it to look like um, oozing or something. We do. I don't know. Like it's like melting? Yeah, what? melting. What's oozing? Nothing's oozing here. Look how much storage there is too. Not that I'll be putting stuff like all the way back there, but it's a deep shelf. I love it. Look at all the storage possibilities back there. So we're going into the studs so that these are really secure. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, and um, what did Graham call it? <laughs> that looks so nice okay, got one in. Okay, I don't know what my purpose is here, but I'm, just, I'm here. <laughs> I feel like I'm spelunking right now. What does that mean? We're doing some spelunking in my laundry closet. So we're starting from the top and going and down. Here. We should have done that originally. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now we're here actually makes sense. Now, now we're, we're in the top. Yeah, but now we're just gonna end up in the middle. <laughs> I have to say, I can see it. The vision is visioning. It's gonna be cute. Genius hack from Graham. He's putting thumbtacks into the bracket hole. It holds it so you can drill in the first screw. Wow. Sometimes I surprise myself. <laughs> So now it's time to install the big shelf across the top. <laughs> Originally, it was only supposed to be a one shelf project and it turned into five shelf project with a squiggle. <laughs> We're placing it a little higher than the dryer. There's a couple electrical outlets that we have to clear. So the shelf is sitting right on top of those. 
so much storage possibilities. I love it. I think it's adorable. So I was trying to think of a solution that would be easier to implement than like DIYing a door with hinges. And I thought, let's do a curtain, but make it cute. This curtain rod is from Umbra and I love how it curves. So I'm going to be able to open the curtain all the way and like push it to the side while I'm doing laundry. And then I got this curtain panel from Soko Annex and I'm using clips. So it just looks extra cute. We're going to put it up. When I'm doing laundry, I can curve it all the way around to the side. So it's out of my way. And then when I'm not doing laundry, I can close it like so. What do you think? I love it. You do? Yeah. That was a genuine, I love it too. It makes a big difference. To be honest, I'll probably leave it a bit open sometimes because I want to see the scalloped shelves. It looks taller too. Mm -hmm. Like, come on. Ooh, I could do it like that. Yeah. I've always thought like curtains as doors can look kind of like unfinished, but this is like a bougie curtain. Wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. There's not much else to say. It's perfect. And then with all your styling and stuff. I know. I know it's gonna be cute, right? Yeah. It's gonna be a moment. Speaking of styling, let's get styling. I am decanting my laundry detergent into this glass dispenser. This is actually used for summer drinks. I'm using it for laundry detergent. Just a note here, you wanna make sure you have a tray that you can put your little cup on that you're gonna dispense the laundry detergent into. This closet has a marble floor, so if any laundry detergent drips out of this dispenser, I can easily wipe it up. But just note, this could get messy, so don't put it anywhere that's gonna be hard to clean. I am pouring my OxyClean into a spray spray bottle. Love a good amber apothecary bottle. Makes everything look so much nicer. Note to self, I definitely need more oxygen. <laughs> it is time for the finishing touches. I can't wait to style up the laundry closet of my dreams. So the first thing I'm doing is placing the laundry detergent and a cup to dispense it in. I'm placing a tin for dryer balls. I love that I can easily just grab these when I need them. Placing the spray bottle and an essential oil I use when I dry my clothes. Fun fact, you can actually put essential oil on dryer balls so your laundry smells nice and fresh. I'm putting my powdered OxyClean in a basket. I'm putting a pink garbage can on the bottom shelf. This is to put all my lint. I'm placing my laundry basket on the top shelf. Everyone asks me where this basket is from. It is from Hey Design and comes in lots of different colors. I'm also placing some overflow detergent up here. I am steaming the curtain so it's nice and crisp. I am placing the drying rack above the dryer for easy access and functional storage. To finish off this hallway, I'm adding more photos to this gallery wall. I've been meaning to do this forever because it's always kind of looked incomplete to me. Graham has had to do this because he's taller than me, so I'm just directing him. <laughs> These prints were framed by Poster Jack. I love using them for professional framing. I am obsessed with this laundry closet. I just wanna do laundry all weekend long. Let me know in the comments down below if you have a laundry closet like this and what your plans for that space is. And as always, I will see you next time. Bye.